All right, so I did start working on the head, uh, started removing the valve springs, which I'll go into more detail on, uh, on what happened. But I decided since, uh, since I didn't do it the right way, uh, I decided that I'm, I'm just going to wait up until the tool comes in, uh, the valve uh, seal tool to go ahead and put these things in the right way. And then I'm gonna show you how to disassemble all the valve springs and, uh, and do all that stuff later. So it should be a couple more days uh, and it should come in. But basically what I ended up doing is try doing it the hammer way and it stripped one of the seals. So I'm waiting for that tool to come in. But uh, today I'm gonna clean the alternator and uh, basically mask off all the plastic uh, get this rusted, I don't know if you can see it actually, let's put it up a little bit. Yeah, you can see the pulley's a little rusted, so I'm going to clean that up as well, clean up all the rust, spray with that paint to black primer, and uh, paint it black, and then the rest of the alternator, I'm going to mask off, like I said, and, uh, and paint it silver with that engine color, silver. So that's the plan for today. I may do a couple more things, but I'm still recovering and we'll see. I was really hoping actually by today to have the car finished and then you get sick and it takes an additional week. So, all right, well, that's the next step. So the alternator, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean with the lacquer thinner. Um, nothing too drastic. I'm trying to not get it on the insides. But uh, from what I understand, I'm not even going to take this apart because apparently the coil itself is just for magnetic purposes and it already has some kind of coating on there, which even if you paint won't affect the magnetism that, uh, that it's meant to do. So initially I started masking all this inside, cut out some strips of cardboard. I was able to slide it. Actually, it was from a vanilla folder. I was able to slide it underneath here, but uh, I think it's just overkill, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint over it. Just not as drastically, I guess. Alright, so just finished cleaning it. Uh, removed a lot of that surface rust just by putting some lacquer thinner on there and cleaning it out. Okay, so everything's been Paint it with that rust of black primer. In the end, um, I don't know, I may mask everything off and just to have that copper kind of sticking through, or I may even disassemble the alternator. I, I, I really don't want to do that. If I really get lazy, which it looks like I'm going that route, I'm probably just going to paint it black and just call it a day. That way, everything's going to look just, I mean, it's going to look good. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just paint everything black as soon as uh, as soon as the rest of black primer does its thing. And it should look pretty good. I still got the alternator bracket to paint. I'm going to paint that in that gold color. So it'll look all right. The alternator pulley, on the other hand, I may do the same as the harmonic balancer over there either completely or gold or gold and red uh, that's gonna be a tough one to decide on so I'm gonna try off I guess gold and red but uh, if it's too much of a pain I may just do everything gold next in the cleanup process is the <coughs> timing chain cover so as you can see there's a lot of filth on this thing <coughs> um, I think timing chain cover is probably not going to get painted. I mean, so much stuff gets bolted on top of it that you can't see any of it. So I'm just going to clean it real nice. Uh, if it still looks filthy, I may, but currently just try to clean it. Okay, so this is what it looks like after cleaning just a little bit off the top. As you can see, I'm just going down and uh, it's going to be a real challenge once we get to these parts because this is just covered. But in the end, uh, once I got this pretty clean, uh, looks like there's still just 
I mean, this is natural blemishes, so I'm just going to paint over it with silver engine paint um, before I remove this seal and, uh, <clears throat> and put it back on. Okay, so it took about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, but it's been thoroughly cleaned, as you can tell. So all that's left to do is uh, apply some paint to it. But yeah, this thing, uh, especially around this area, it was pretty disgusting. So I had to use a flathead screwdriver, get in some of these crevices, and also this little needle to basically remove all that gunk that was surrounding it. Okay, time to apply a first layer of paint. So first layer applied really good. Didn't even put a heavy coat, but uh, but it looks almost complete. So just time for one more coat and let it dry. Well, the first coat is uh, drying over there. I thought I'd take a look at the alternator bracket because that's going to be the the last thing. Well, I guess I do have the intake manifold to clean, but uh, but this is really going to be the last thing that I paint. And man, this thing, good god, I don't know how how this engine managed to get so filthy, but you know, it looks like I'm going to have to completely disassemble this and, uh, and thoroughly clean it and then paint it. I think what I'm going to do with the alternator bracket is paint it in that uh, gold color and then I may do the gold and red for the pulleys again. So. About another day's worth of projects uh, before I can actually start putting everything back together. Okay, so painted the timing chain cover. There was a couple of spots that I'm not too happy with. And I'm debating whether to wait for it to uh, dry and sand it, or repaint it over those spots, which I'm probably going to do, uh, or just leave it as is, which most likely I will not do. Now it's just time to finish cleaning this. I squirted that bolt with a rust of black primer. And uh, as soon as it's finished cleaning, well, as soon as I'm finished cleaning, not it's finished cleaning, um, I'm just going to paint over it and <sighs> just uh, paint the alternator and that'll be it. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. we got some stuff to do anyways. So, till next time.